Hi, hi guys. Uh, welcome to our uh, programming training uh, video story. So in this series, we are going to develop a simple dictionary app. So we have already started uh, working on it. So in this uh, video, what we are going to do is we are going to initialize uh, our database. We have seen the database implementations in the previous video. So today, what we are going to do is we are going to initialize the database using the list of words, sample list of words we have prepared and stored in our assets folder. So in the splash screen, uh, we are going to implement the a function. What it does is it's going to read the, the content from the file and it's going to iteratively add the, the list of words into our database. Okay. So, sorry. So first, let's see what we already have. Okay. Let's connect uh, my phone. I have a Huawei phone connected to my laptop. And we're going to see it in the device manager. The, the communication is a bit slow from the software in the my mobile app. It's the application already opened on my phone, but it's a bit slow here. Okay, so this is what we have. So this is our application. There was a splash screen before it, uh, but this is actually what we designed uh, right now. Okay, so what we want is before this uh, main activity opens, we have a splash screen. So on the splash screen, before we open the application, what we are going to do is, we are going to extract the list of words from the file and store it into our database. So that on the main activity, on our main activity, in our previous, uh, our, I think our second video, we have added a list view. So we are going to populate this list view with the list of words from the database. But to bring uh, the to get the list of words first, we have to initialize or we have to store the list of words from the file to our database. So that's exactly what we are doing in this video. Okay. <clears throat> so in our splash activity, we have a function called setup words. Okay. What it does is. Okay. First, I need a shared preference just to make sure that the words are not created duplicated are not duplicated. Okay, so when I uh, first open the application, I check for words loaded variable. If it's uh, the first time I'm accessing this variable, the default value false will be returned and I check the words loaded variable if it's false. Then I'm going to set up or save words from file. We will see this function. And I will make sure that this function should not be executed again so that the, 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 the words uh, won't be duplicated in our database. So I'll, I have to set up the words loaded variable to true. Okay. Uh, I'm sure you know how to use shared preferences or this is how we do it. Okay. In our shared preference, it's like cookies in a web browser. It uses temporary uh, settings. Okay. So to read uh, setting from the general settings, shared preference, we create and say general settings dot get string and give the variable. If the variable has value, then it will be returned. Otherwise, it will return the default value. You can check if the variable is empty or not using the default value. So if the variable contains the default value, then there is nothing stored. So after implementing the save words from file, I'll set a value to the words loaded to true. So that when it comes back next time, it will check that the variable is not false. So it won't enter here. It will just keeps on going to the next step. Okay, so that's how it works. So now I'm going to call this function here and I'll give it uh, context. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so what the, this uh, does is it's a timer uh, thread. I think you have explained this in the previous videos uh, when we implement our splash screen. 
So what we want to do is before closing the splash screen and go to the main activity, we want to set up the words. Okay. So let's go inside the save words from file and see how it works. Good. So here we have the file name. The file name we provided wordlist.txt. This is our file. Okay. So the using this file we have a read file a read from file function. This read from file function it reads the content of the file and return the string. The string the that's being uh, read from the file that we gave. Okay. So once we get all the list of words we're going to split it. Now let's see how we organize the words. Okay, let's say this is one example. This is the word welcome, one word, and Kwan Dehanamatu, one word in Amharic. It's welcome in Amharic. And Benvenue, I think it's welcome in uh, French. So it's one word separated with hash right and each word separated with double at size okay so that's how we implement our split so here what uh, we're going to do is we're going to split the the, the word is a string using this to add symbols and store it to a string variable called all words it will store all words but it will take it will consider them like this okay pictorially it will be like this so it will contain one word with three meanings one word with three meanings and this will create an array string array right so next what we are going to do is we are going to loop through the arrays and we have to uh, we have to break the that word as well so that we can get the amharic word the english word and the french word so it is separated with hash symbol so we have to again implement the split function for the specific word all words of i so the current uh, line of word and we split it using the hash symbol and this gives us the single word array and when we say single word of zero means Amharic of uh, it means English sorry depending on the order here now we write first English word Amharic word and French word so here when I say single word of zero it means English single word of one it means Amharic single word, word of two it means French so I'll set that to the our word model variable and call add new word function so when we complete this for loop all the words from the file will be stored to our database okay so this setup words function when this function uh, finish executing all our words will be stored in our database so when we come to the main activity our main activity class on its own create function it will get the list of words and give it to the list view in our main activity layout so that all the words will be displayed uh, in our list view okay so what we did here is we created the database logic function and we created uh, word models list of word models and from our database logic, we used get all words. Okay. So we have also a list adapter. Let's see how we did the word list adapter. By the way, uh, we'll, uh, we'll uh, provide the complete project uh, in our website. So uh, you can check the description section. You'll get a link there so that you can get uh, all the source code. Okay, so here the, our adapter, what our adapter is going to does is going to implement this. We have uh, 
three uh, text view controls. Let's let me show you here. In the layouts, we have created a word list XML file. What I did is right click on layout, new layout resource file, and give it a name here. Click OK. This will give us a layout file, and I changed the constraint layout to linear layout so that I can uh, I'll get a simple uh, design. And I made it um, orientation vertical and added three text views. One for Amharic word, one for English word, and one for French word. So in our word adapter, in ad our adapter, what it does is it maps the layout design with the list of data from the database. Okay. So we provide the list the layout here, our layout is from resource.layout.wordlist, this XML file. And we also have the database, uh, the list of data, right? Word models in our word model. So this word list adapter function accepts the list of words. So here, what we are going to do is first we have to search the labels from our word list view. We call it convert view. And once we have the our functions, we're going to set text of the label or the text view from word models dot get position. This position means here get view has position. So this function will be implemented for each row in, in our database. That means we'll get a list of uh, rows in our list view for exactly matching the list of data we have uh, collected from our database. Okay? So in our word list adapter, when we create our word list, we provide list of models, list of word models that we get from the get all words from our database logic class. Okay? Then after we create the adapter for our list, list words, it's a list view control and in our activity main, our list view is list words. The name is list word. So that's how, uh, that's what we need to find from our uh, resources. So it's list words. Then the list view has a function called set adapter. And the adapter is the one that we have created previously. So what this function will do is what this uh, list of lines will do is it will get the list of data from the database create new adapter to it and this adapter knows what type of uh, layouts I'm using so finally it will map the the layout and the list of data in this list view uh, in this uh, word list adapter and sets the adapter to our list view which means our list view will show the list of databases in a layout defined here. That means, okay. Uh, I think it's uh, it's been too much talking. Now let's see it in action. So let's run our application. Uh, okay. It's being installed. Okay, this is our welcome screen, splash screen. There you go. So our application had, uh, had automatically created a list of databases from the file and present it in the list view. So if I want, if I try to open the application ne next, let's say, let's now the application is closed. So let's run our application again. This time, the database is already created, so it will just uh, navigate to the list of words. Okay. How does it know? Because in our splash screen, we have set up a setting. Okay. This setting will be true next time. Okay. So our database, our application only instance installs the list of words when the when it's executed the first time. 
So this is our list view. We have the database and we have managed to show the list of words in our database. So I'm scrolling down. So we have found our 10 records. Okay, so the presentation is a bit ugly. Uh, that's what we are going to do in our next videos. And also we need to implement the search functions. The providing the list of words in a list view is one step. But our application will not be that much usable. If, we, uh, the, uh, if a user can't search for a specific word and tries to uh, study the word meanings. Okay. So in our upcoming videos, we'll try to implement search exact word or search specific word and search similar words. Uh, these are the functions uh, we have explained in our previous video about database logic. We have search specific word. It searches uh, a word using a specific word. Exact word, it means. Okay. But also, we can search for similar words, which means it starts with A or it starts with ABC. Okay. So it will return all the uh, list of words that matches the criteria. The start with, end with, contains all options. Okay. So in our previous video, that's what we are going to implement. I also will try to uh, clean up the presentation a bit better, uh, a bit so that it will be more, uh, it will look uh, more presentable. Uh, okay. Okay. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or uh, Anything you would like to say, please uh, write it in the comment section. Uh, and uh, I'll say it again. Make sure that uh, you have subscribed to our channel so that you will get notifications uh, for our upcoming videos. And thank you for watching. Thank you very much. <laughs> Video action and code that shoots like a metal on click at Google, but the Jamarim catch comment section like it's a much on some mids glass or as they touch on Karetam Kalachu video like a good delam nagar color, Karela Chunagaram color, when the Jamarista Kalam fell good nagar color, the comment section like with a full link like banana, I turn Nastaka Kalal and Satachan, Kazavata Jamari, the channel action at Disco Nachuna, subscribe Kalaragachu, subscribe Arjuku. Bazam, Chinia Dolum Lekutan, click Adrugati Himalat, Ada this video Chinas in Jammer, YouTube Lananta, notification electoral, Malatno, Nam Sagdanal.